and S. Two S's. Ta-da! What's up everybody and welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. In this episode here we'll be looking at TAP, a brand new wearable keyboard that is actually probably one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen yet. Now keyboards have been out for quite some time so it is really not much of a surprise that somebody wants to change it out there. So the good folks over at TAP have created this new idea allowing you to go ahead and wear your keyboard on your hand and using a variety of gestures you can go ahead and spell out letters. Now I have no idea how this is all going to play out but together we will figure it out. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. So this here is the box that you get. Uh, essentially it's a very small size box, almost looks like a sunglasses holder, I'm not really too sure. You got some imaging on the back here so it says it's a wearable keyboard obviously. Uh, it also works as a mouse with a simple finger tap to click and scroll. That's kind of interesting. So it works as both. Uh, works wireless, I would hope so. Uh, it has a software app and it also can use as a controller in terms of playing video games. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So we have ourselves a little case uh, holding our wearable keyboard, of course. Uh, and then in the back here, we have ourselves, it looks like a standard USB-C cable to go ahead and charge it. And then it has a tiny little instruction manual here, cheat sheets. So this here are some shortcuts and different commands uh, and the alphabet. So shows that if you use your left pinky, that's A, B, which is these two. See, oh my God, this is gonna take some time to learn. I mean, look at that. That is a lot of different letters here. So we'll see if we can spell out a sentence and go from there. So this here is our tap box. Go ahead and slide that out. Comes with this nice, almost like a metallic gray or space gray case. Uh, it does have a transparent, almost like pexi glass or some kind of plastic. So this goes and opens up just like that. Uh, it's got a nice looking padding kind of finish into it inside there and there you are. <laughs> so this here is our tap wearable keyboard. So it comes in different sizes. This is a large. You have some sensors on here on the side. Uh, and then uh, we have a variety of different sensors throughout it. So let's see how this plays out. So the larger button here will go on our thumb and then this will kind of go to the side just like this. It's like that right there. And then from there, these will go on to each one. Uh, and then they, they kind of have like a one size fit all kind of display as it does have a, an, an expanding part. Oops, gotta kind of like wiggle it in there. And there we are. Almost gives you like that super power, like I'm a, like a superhero kind of feel to it. Very interesting kind of feel. Um, it doesn't have any kind of restricted kind of sense as it does come with a string that is quite flexible. So I can go ahead and move it any way I want and don't have any kind of like restriction, which is nice. So the case itself actually is a charger. Uh, so on the side here, you'll see a power button uh, and then you'll see a charging cable. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go and download the app next and see if this works. Okay, tap anywhere to continue. <laughs> putting on the tap strap. I think we kind of figured it out, but it does have a nice little like display showcasing how to do it. All right, let's pair your tap. Okay, tap is connected. Get the latest version. We're currently updating our tap. The trick is to not tap so vigorously like, like you're doing a show. You're just gonna go ahead and do one of these kind of gestures. Very simple, you know? And then uh, you don't wanna do like, like this. You wanna just kind of like, like a relaxed form, like you're almost like using a real keyboard. I don't know. So they have a learning function uh, app to teach you how to tap. So we'll download that later. I think we can figure this out. And yeah, so we're ready to go. They even have tap games. That is pretty cool. I have it ready to go with the keyboard function. You can see right here. Um, and I'm gonna try typing a letter. So let's just go ahead and write out the word conflicts. So con. I wrote a gay. All right, and H is gonna be all four. 
Okay, A. Ah. N. <laughs> this is so weird. It's like I'm learning keyboarding all over again. F. Aha, we got an L. Letter I. That's not an I. I don't know why that picked up a T. Letter I. There we go. C. Oh my god, how am I going to do this? I did a C. Uh, K and S. Two S's. Ta-da! And there you have it. Took me about uh, two minutes to type out my name. Whoops, and I typed a bunch of other letters. Let me delete those. I think it's just a matter of getting a hang of it uh, and into a space you do all of them like this. Ah, sweet. So yeah, there you have it. This here is Tap, a keyboard that is practically useless and is a very expensive paperweight. However, it is very interesting and very unique and especially for all you just tech people out there that are trying to look for something that's completely different, this might be for you. Now, it does need some work as it is quite sensitive, uh, but it does do the job surprisingly. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit that thumbs down button twice and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.